Our snuff bottle collection is very special. Snuff is actually powdered tobacco. Tobacco was first cultivated by Native Americans for both medicine and for pleasure. And usually it would be consumed by smoking, chewing, or snuff, which then spread to Europe. And then via the Portuguese traders, about the early 1500s, it made its way to Japan and China. And each culture had their own way of carrying tobacco, whether it was powdered or in leaf form. Native Americans carried their snuff in small leather pouches because it was materials they had. Europeans favored more the boxes, enameled, metal, gilt. The Chinese, because they had no pockets in their clothing, they preferred these small airtight bottles that could be secreted up their sleeves or kind of on their person. For the Chinese, snuff was not just um, tobacco, it was also used as a remedy for things like the common cold, headaches, stomach disorders. It was not just recreational use. Snuff and snuff bottles started to become kind of a status symbol and it became common that you would offer a pinch of snuff as a way to greet friends or relatives. The golden age of snuff bottles is between 1644 and 1912 with the beginning of the Republic of China. Snuff bottles were made to be held, so therefore there's a wonderful tactile quality to them. Snuff bottles can be made from a variety of different types of materials as long as the closure could be airtight. Things like wood, bone, ivory, porcelain, stone, metal, enameled works. This piece here is actually in painted. It's a carved piece of glass and then the artist would have had to use a very small brush to paint on the inside to get the image to be viewed through the glass. And these porcelain, like some of our other works uh, done by Chinese artists, have some chop marks but we are just not quite sure who the artists are. Our snuff bottle collection is very important because of what we can teach with it. Uh, snuff was a very popular fad during the uh, 17, 18, 1900s in China and the collection, while it shows us that snuff was, was popular, it also shows us uh, the uniqueness people tried to have with their collection. Uh, each bottle was slightly different. It was kind of like having your cell phone blinged out. You decorate your cell phones differently for your personality. Your snuff bottle is, is, tells something about who you are and what you value. So it kind of shows us the importance of individuality as well as uh, the popular, cu popular culture at the time. This collection also shows us the wide variety of craftsmanship that you can have within one specific type of materials. The snuff bottles are decorated in many different ways, but they all seem to have stories, uh, myths, legends, philosophies that all are important to the Chinese culture and to the individual who the snuff bottle would have been for. Our collection is very special in the fact that it's here in Topeka and available for students, teachers, and scholars alike to come and peruse. Give us a call. We're here for you.